Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, where today we continue our Austrian campaign. And the Austrian campaign has one goal, and one goal only. To destroy the world of man. No, wait. Um, one goal only, and that is to take Europe. So I am very pleased with that, yes, indeed. However, we failed to take parts of Spain. We did not have the fleet power for an invasion, so it was all for nothing. Afterwards, we rebuilt our fleet, made it bigger, and we attacked Spain again. And that's where we are here. The first Spanish islands in the Mediterranean have fallen. And today, hopefully, I can take at least part of Spain. That would be kind of fun. Not for the Spanish, maybe. But for me, yeah, definitely. My four-inch guns are ranking that guy. She has, she has the superior firepower. I mean, look at that. She has a seven-inch gun. However, that is no match for the rapid firing of the four-inchers that I employ. Don't think bigger guns equal better guns in this game. That is not always the case. There goes another flooding. I think I got her. Increase to flank. 3% to... 0.5%. Point three, point one. There we go. Now let's finish off the convoy. I'll be right back. Okay, job done. I'm a bit annoyed though that my ships are not engaging these enemy vessels. I mean, hello. This division is damaged. You're not. Okay, we're gonna do some switcheroo. You move there. You move there in the hopes of intercepting that Spanish battleship. Not going. I'm not gonna do that fight again. Should I though? I really should. How many ships do the Spanish have? Twelve ships, including three battleships. Where are the other battleships? Malaga, some cruisers. Coruña, Bilbao, they're not in Spain itself. Just because you can. The only advantage the enemy cruiser has, of course, is that 7-inch gun. She has a range advantage on me. That much is obvious. That is the warship, so let's target her and open fire. Slow down to 15 knots. Santa, do your thing. And let's kill yet another enemy cruiser, please. Armor-piercing shells. First partial pen. First over pen. Another over pen. How naughty. Right, let's fire some high explosive ones then. See what the result will be. Ooh, engine damage and fire. It's not a bad ship. In fact, in terms of gun layout, yeah. I would take her into battle myself, I think. I would not use 1.8 inch guns though. Would have used, whoa! I lost all my four inch ammo. Zanta, lay a smoke screen, disengage. Oh man, you look away for a second and your ship get bl gets blown out of the water. Right, what's the max speed we still can maintain? That's 14 knots. Enemy cruiser can do 16 knots currently. 
So, in essence, I'm dead. Let us hope I can survive. And with that, a very long session of Cat and Mice will begin, or a very short one, depending how close she will get. And this, this my friends, is the disadvantage of using ships with only one caliber guns. Well, I only have two left, all the others got blown up. But, yeah, a flash fire chain reaction. Oh my god, that's so deadly. Once the enemy gets into 1.8 inch gun range, I'm dead, I think. We're doing 14.9 knots. That's not bad. Throw everything overboard. More speed, more speed. Ah, uh, hero. Of my federation. You are now done for. You shall sleep at last. You shall be remembered, though. Smoke up. Please, for the love of God, smoke up. Keep running, keep running. Yeah, the enemy is well within gun range now. Yeah, she's increased to 19 and a half knots. Ooh. Only, she is 88% fueled and 95, yeah. I'm not even got outrun her in that regard. At least not for uh, a few hours. And I doubt I'll survive that long. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna pause the recording here. Because, let's be honest, while interesting to see if she can hit me, while at the helm, I can understand it being less interesting for you guys. So, back in an iffy. <laughs> and then the end battle showed up. And I could get away. My ship is damaged? Yes. But she's not out. She's not sunk. And I'm surprised. I think it took like... Two or three minutes of in-game... Well, of real time after I paused the recording when the end battle button showed up. So yeah, of course I'm taking that. <laughs> Hence, I did not record it, of course. And excellent, we also caught the enemy battleship. That is a big ass fleet that I have to manage here. There. You, I believe it was. Yeah. it a bit easier. Now I have a light cruiser group, second light cruiser group, third light cruiser group, okay, and three torpedo boat groups. You know what? Group one, 
Group two. Group three. All of a sudden, my fleet is a lot more manageable. Not per definition the best uh, the best formation, but it will get the job done. You turn to the left. You turn a bit to the left. You turn a bit to the right. Give my battleships more room, please. Battleships will turn to the right. Stop avoiding, stop avoiding. Get information cruisers. Come on. Move it, move it, move it. This division, tighten up. This division may take a rear position. Well, this division is actually engaging. Torpedo boat. Well, we get short torpedoes, so don't count on those. Battleships. Get into fire line. This is Alfonso. This is an older battleship. This is a... Whoa, no rangefinders, even. Excellent. Right, I think the time has come here to tell you three to detach and to detach again. Because you're going in. You should be able to fire. Torpedoes away. Torpedoes away. Nice cross drop. All right. Air floatability zero. Job done. Third one did not get into a proper firing position against the cruiser, but it's okay. The cruiser was destroyed. Repeat about to reform, please, and get back in with the cruisers. Well, that was a good attack, I'll be honest. Was it a bit overkill? Maybe? <laughs> Just maybe. And with that, back to the studio, I think, because, let's be honest, yes, this thing will be able to do a tiny amount of damage, if I'm unlucky. As such, I'm gonna tell these smaller divisions to disengage. I'm just gonna use my battleship heavy cruisers for this one. Less chance of a ship accidentally blowing up. And with that back to the studio, I guess. Yeah, well. And then I forgot to turn my uh, recording back on. So, I have some frustrating events happening. Okay. The needed tonnage for the attack just last turn went up to like 190,000 tons. So I'm scrambling whatever ships I can find still 
to uh, reinforce here. Chances are very low though to take our enemies. And I am a bit worried, I admit. However, um, extra torpedo boats here. You know what? I want an extra one in Guantanamo, an extra one in Guam. And you may go to bar. I'm eagerly awaiting these three heavy cruisers here. They will help me turn the tide. But it is a frustrating fight here. That cost me a turn and a lot of money, essentially. Because due to this, I realized my fleet is too, too weak. And we need more heavy cruisers. As such, two extra have been uh, laid down. We got some transports there. We're not going to engage those cruisers. Thank you very much. You're trying to break out, eh? Tams, join up with those torpedo boats. U5, join up as well. 25% chance. Uh, we're getting there though, we're getting there. Also, we are making money once more. That's very good as well. That's sad. Um, research. Special machinery, electric steering gear coming up. Small guns, 8 inch Mark II's. Oh, that is interesting. And 13 inch Mark II's are coming up as well. Once. Spain just built a shit ton of new ships. At least designed a lot of new ones. Let's see, was it just a design? No, they're laying down. Torpedo boats, two light cruisers, Santa Maria class heavy, and another light. Okay. Ah, oh, fair. Spanish ships got out of the blockade. That's actually what I wanted. Getting them out means giving me a higher chance of success. Commissioning, one turn. Oh, thank God. One turn. Attila here. Electric steering gear, anti-flood two. Excellent. Spanish ships are moving out indeed. I'm gonna let them. If they wanna attack my colony, be my guests. Be my bloody guest, I say. Um, I do want a th third one. So we have six of these cruisers. Three extra torpedo boats. Episodes 54. And I got over a trillion there um, a month during wars. Pretty insane, actually. Pretty insane. Yeah, in December we will have our three cruisers here. Meaning we get a 30% chance of success. 30% is not bad. I take that. Uh... I'd rather have 50%, I admit, but 30 is not bad. So we got 8-inch guns that are, can be upgraded. So after the... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it straight away. Let's upgrade to Wells. Hello, beauties. Say what you want, but the 8-inch guns, I think they're very cool looking. That's 17, 18 knots. Yeah, sure, I'm going with 18. 
RV armor. Turbat 2, anti torp 2. And a citadel. Holy. That is a lot of uh, upgrades that can be put onto this ship. One more. No. 3.4 inch. Look at that. Safe design. Wells will be a lot better now. I mean, from 16 and a half knots, she's going to 18. That alone makes it worth it. Um... I do need to upgrade my battleships as well, but that can wait, the other designs. After all, all my ships are here in the middle of the ocean. What are we getting? Light cruisers up to 6,000 tons and destroyers up to 900 tons in six months. I think I'll wait with, until I get those techs to upgrade my ships. The cruiser Zenta is once more trying to attack an enemy. 40% chance of success now. Forty percent, forty percent is pretty good. Where is the Spanish Navy? They're there. Assuming we succeed, then I'll send my he my new heavy cruisers to destroy uh, the Spanish in the Mediterranean. If I succeed, that is. You know, all three go to bar. Just get me some. Maybe I'll use those ships. We'll see. It would be great. I never took... I never managed to take the entirety of Spain before as Austria. In fact... I don't think I, I took some colonies as Austria, but besides that, I don't think I ever took anything of, of note with this nation. We dropped down to 38%. It's gonna be tricky though. Gonna be tricky. I'm not sure I will succeed, but we'll see. We'll see. One month for the cruisers, and that's really what I need. I don't think I got it. Failed to gain control over southern Spain. Damn. Damn, son. That was ten turns. There's only one thing to do now. Try again. Because honestly, I'm not afraid. Let's see, this fleet is operational in terms of numbers. The second one is fully operational as well. How are the repairs looking? Klagenfurt? Yeah, Klagenfurt needs to dock in Mallorca. From this fleet. Anything badly damaged? The cruiser Tron and 20 and 24. Tron, 24 and T20 may go to Mallorca to repair. Rest of the fleet is intact. So... gonna keep them in position let's assume for a moment Valencia any anything near Valencia will be the target let's move these ships around although just to be on the safe side I'm gonna send this entire torpedo boat force to attack in Malaga Malaga it is Once these new cruisers are done, I will not deploy them to the invasion force. I will deploy them um, in the Mediterranean and beyond as uh, hunting ships to hunt down 
enemy cruisers because the Spanish fleet, there are too many ships everywhere in the world. I don't like it. Especially the fact that they still have a battleship somewhere. Last seen around the Philippines. Is worrisome. Now, don't expect me to uh, show you this fight. I mean, let's be honest here. Sadly, the enemy torpedo boat decided not to fight. And since she could do 32 knots, she could outrun anything I had. This remains one of my favorite pictures, man. <laughs> Let's shoot beetles. Let's shoot beetles indeed. Okay. One month till the repairs are done. Right, I gotta move my fleet into attack positions here. The small fleet of torpedo boats will join up with these guys here to really block off Gibraltar. You will park over there. Three heavies will park on the outside here. The big fleet. One will park there. The second one will park there. And these guys are still being repaired. Excellent. Tell me, five months? Until I have my first cruisers to deal with these guys here. As the war continues. Like locusts. My Austrian fleet descends. 1,000 tons, okay. Only 22% chance of success. That's not a lot. Luckily, four ships are ready to go. One cruiser had to go here. The others had to join the big fleet. Finances. Yeah, we are in the positives, but we need to build dockyards. Keep building dockyards, man. Strike, task force, naval invasion. Something big, something small. Well, a convoy, something small. That's the way I should say it. Torpedo upgrades. Nice. 26%, come on. Are you guys in the engagement zone? I think you are, but just to be on the safe side, I will move you closer. Not that that will help anything, but just for my state of mind, I presume. Just for my state of mind. Talking about state of mind. Dreadnoughts. Four months. Yes, I'm going to focus it. Let's see, in four months, two of the heavy cruisers are done. In four months, that means these heavy cruisers are outdated. And well, they're not entirely outdated. I mean, it still takes me nine to 12 months to build these new dreadnoughts. 25% chance. It should not get any lower though.
Right, task force. Yeah, torpedo boats. Convoy. That's one of mine. No, that's. I should not do that. I should not do that. Let's see. Philippines. Two Spanish battleships are there. They lost half the Philippines. Oh, that's huge. That was like their main area if uh, Spain should fall. Two cruisers being commissioned. Yeah, the cruisers will be done. Ooh, well, worth it. Cruiser Zenta. We're barely making money. That's not great during wartime. But my crew training is relatively low. 20%. 18 inch torpedoes. Finally. Spain failed to gain control over Syria. Yeah. This may not have been the best time to actually try that, Spain. I don't know. Just a weird thought of mine. But I think you should not do that. Okay. First things first. Let's and you know what? You're gonna operate solo. One there, one there. Good luck. Research. Stop focusing again. Neo design. Oh yeah. They're here alright. So Austrian Dreadnoughts. Um, part of me wants them to be as small as possible. However, I also know that I need the tonnage for the naval invasions. So, 15,000? Seems like a decent number. Oh, I thought that was a funnel position. It's not. It's a... Uh... Oh, damn. Oh, well. I guess we'll go induced uh, battleships then. Balanced rudder. RV armor. No anti-torp. Are you crazy? Yes. Why do you ask? Centerline guns. We got 13 inch Mark II's. And by God, 13 inch Mark II's is what we're gonna install on these ships. There we go. We can only have three on these battleships, sadly enough. But, considering the hull we're using, that is actually fine. Um, casemate guns, I would like five inchers. Secondary, five inchers. Three, like so. Okay. Barbats, double hull. Give me a citadel. Reinforced bulk hats. I part of me wants to anti anti flooding, but we have fifteen months build time. That will go up by one month. That's annoying. Ooh, that's not gonna cut it. Not what I want anyway. One, one, two like a three inch main deck yeah can we balance you out though mm -hmm. give 
Give me gun. Yeah, we can. Uh, Armor-wise, she's not great. And oh, there, we still need to do this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Ooh, point 0.9. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think for a 15,000 tonner, 13 inch guns, sure. Now the Hapsbog will also do 22 knots. Maybe a bit lesser on the range, that's fine. Right, armor belt installed. Range finder. Gotta look though, gotta look. There is... Hold on, hold on, let me... Um, my YouTube studio, I think. Commands. Range finder. So as a guy, super necrophobe, awesome nickname, who said great ship designs as always. Now the range finder part. Stereoscopic for long range. I've always used them from the beginning. Never had issues hitting targets. Nobody knows how the game calculates long-range accuracy versus base one. Yeah, that is correct. Um, hmm. He never had the ladder aiming bug with stereoscopic range finder. Hmm. Well, I can always try. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? What's the worst that can happen? Insert nuclear explosion meme here, but I'm too lazy to do it. But you get the idea, right? All right, let's say six inch secondaries. Main guns, we can have... Side mounted nine inchers. Let's install those. Then I want a barbette over there. For the center line, 13 inches. Okay, that's what I want to build. The question is, can I build it? The answer is no. Because I still need that. Antitorp 1, normal bulkheads, TNT, Lamastite, let's see, I'm 900 tons overweight, that's not too bad. Let's drop the main deck, let's drop the main belt, let's drop the conning tower, 2 inch, 2 inch, hmm... That is gonna look ugly as hell, but in all honesty, it will work. And right now, that's what matters, because then I can actually bring the Citadel. You know what? Let's go you over here. Tower. Tower. Do you still fire? No, you don't. You can back up over there. Now we gotta reinstall this one. Mm -hmm. 
Right now, I'm just trying to make the citadel smaller. That's all I'm doing. Smaller citadel. Smaller citadel. Looking good. Hmm. Slight aft weight offset. Is that? It's not something I like. But I think I can live with it for the time being. Although I could. 944, 970, it does not really matter much. Take out the steering. Gives me one extra tick of armor. Um, I can make you smaller in that regard. But do I want to? No, I don't. I really don't. Is there no way I can move you further? Not really. I can get rid of these secondaries. That actually solves the issue. Get rid of those secondaries. Two more hits on the four deck. And there we have it. Put the rest into extra barbed armor. There we go. I think we have ourselves our future dreadnoughts both 22 knots not exceptionally fast however fast enough that they can keep up with the Vorlberg in a single task force torpedo boats of course can catch up as well that means three ships three classes of ships that can work together um I do need to upgrade my light cruiser designs for this, though. But that can wait until the war is over. And yes, I know I had a fairly high um, engine efficiency. I do want to boost to the, uh, to the engines. Tell me, finances. Yeah, I thought I had a million, but that was not the case. Um, I do want to build my new battleships, though. Just get rid of the old ones as soon as the war is over. And take the monetary loss in the meanwhile. Let's start building a Habsburg. 17 months. Yeah, that's 30,000. I, in fact, I don't think... I can't even build two of them at the same time right now. I should be able to build you, though. Yeah, barely. But I can. So, two new Dreadnoughts. We also have a few Convoy Battles. 
Nice. One here, gonna ignore that one. Enter. Um, I don't need to minus unrust. I do not negotiate with our enemies. I do hate this one. This is one of my least favorite events. Because no matter what I do, I lose money. Alright, torpedo boat got lucky, I suppose, during the night. Ooh, Leopa managed to catch... The enemy cruiser that was hiding off the uh, Greek coastline. Very odd. Okay. There we go. The Leopard. The newest of my heavy cruisers. Seven inch guns. Two of them. The main weapon, of course, of this cruiser is these 2.9 inches. She feels nice. She handles okay. As more and more 2-inch guns are opening up. Let's slow down to 14 knots. That seems reasonable. Yeah. Hello. Ah, you smoked up. That's cheating, man. That's cheating. <laughs> The machine guns were just getting up to speed. I'm slowly inching closer. The smoke screen should run out in half a minute. Ooh. She's still hidden, but I'm shooting at the flashes, I presume. I believe all my guns are firing now. Fire! Explosive salvo, please. We scored 15 hits. It's the two inchers, as expected, that are doing most damage. Enemy ship destroyed. Seven inchers caused a flash fire. Shame. Would have loved to see the damage the two inchers would rack up. Gain control over sovereign Spain! Oh my god, that was a 25% chance. Ha! Oh, that is wunderbar! Now, Western Spain is next. Move all ships into position, so next turn we can hopefully launch that invasion. Oh, this is huge. Hmm. 
This is very huge. All right, you can remain there. You will move here and block off the Mediterranean to the Spanish. Hmm. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. That is three provinces taken of Europe in a fairly aggressive way, I might add. I think all things considered, the way I play the game, I think this is fairly aggressive. I don't know. Are you guys as... as gr How aggressive do you guys play the game? Do let me know in the comments down below. I, I, I would find it very interesting to know. Am I aggressive compared to the average player or am I passive? I think generally I am a bit of a passive player. I'm a reactionary player. I respond to what's happening and take initiative from there. Um, but I'm curious, let me know. The war continues, that is good. And Leopard is engaging. However, that is something for next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you then. Until then, take care.